Welcome to Moonstone Updates. I'm Mark Beshard, the Managing Editor of Moonstone Publications. Here's a look at some of the stories we've covered over the past week. But first, please hit the subscribe button. Share this video with your friends and colleagues. The FSCA has embarked on phase one of implementing the cross-sectoral conduct of business return. The focus of this phase is stakeholder feedback on the draft Omni CBR template. The authority has posted videos on the information that financial institutions will have to submit on the return. Industry participants will be able to provide the FSCA with feedback on the template during online workshops this month and in July. It is also accepting written submissions until August 10th. If you're serious about kickstarting or enhancing your career in the financial services sector, there's no better way to begin than by enrolling in one of Moonstone Business School of Excellence's accredited qualifications. Applications for MBSE's second semester intake close on the 27th of June. MBSE has recorded its biggest semester intake in its history in January this year. Follow the link below to choose a qualification that will give you the skills to advance your career. The FSEA has proposed increasing FSP's levies by about 5% this year. The Financial Sector and Deposit Insurance Levies Bill has not been enacted, so the FSEA is going ahead with raising levies in terms of the FSB Act. The proposed percentage increases for most of the variables that make up the total levy are higher than those in the Levies Bill, but FSPs will not pay as much as would have been the case if the bill had taken effect. A detailed supporting letter will increase the likelihood that your objection to an assessment from SARS will succeed. A recent webinar hosted by the tax faculty provided practical guidance for taxpayers who want to lodge objection. Attaching a supporting letter to the prescribed form will make the job of the SARS official who will present a taxpayer's case to the objection committee much easier. SARS has defended the way it handles VAT audits after this issue, as well as the time taken to resolve disputes was raised by the tax ombud in Parliament. Judge Bernard Ngope said SARS wrongfully withholds tax refunds on periods that are not included in the period being audited. When taxpayers complain, SARS extends the scope of the audit to include periods excluded from the initial audit in an attempt to remedy its non-compliance with the law. The Gauteng High Court has upheld a decision by King Price Insurance to reject a claim and cancel the policy after an insured refused to provide it with information. The client submitted a claim after he was involved in a motor collision. The court found that his refusal to allow King Price to access his cell phone records was a breach of the policy's terms and conditions. The FSEA has appointed a statutory manager for NEFG administrators, saying it is concerned about the company's failure to manage the funds it administers responsibly. The authority is also investigating NEFG's conduct relating to certain life insurance annuity policies. NEFG started business rescue proceedings in September last year. That's all we have for this week. You can read these stories and many more on our website, moonstone.co.za. Until next time, here's wishing you all the best from the team at Moonstone Information Refinery.